small vehicle specifically named 341. This is a 39 Crosley two cylinder convertible. See how teeny this was. What was interesting was that Crosley, uh, Paul, Cro uh, Paul Crosley was a big guy and this is what he made. These were so cute. You figured America really needed a small car. They produce quite a few, but not enough. This was uh, another one of America's attempts. This is the Bantam, which was actually an outgrowth of the uh, American Austin. A little four-cylinder. See how tiny that is. Look at that fan belt, six inches round. It's 1930 Bantam panel truck. Really pretty cool. Really pretty cool. What year did Bantam finally call it quits? 1940. 1940, geez. This is amazing, I've never seen the panel truck before. It's different. Oh, that's for sure. Well, Bantams are weird enough as is. Yes. So. They, didn't make, they only made 6,000. Yeah. All body styles. Yeah. I know. America just did not want small cars. It's it. It was, it was crazy. And there was competition from Crosley. Right. Uh, and all that. They didn't learn their lesson when Austin said, ah, enough is enough. <laughs> but it's never too much. Or in this case, too little. Yeah. Thank you. This was a successful small car, but these were actually built for Nash in England. Remember I said as they were coming in, it could be anything. This is a Hudson. There's the Austin engine. They were built for American Motors in England by Austin. This one's a Nash. Hello. Hi. 61. Yeah, this is the fancy one with a uh, trunk lid. I'm so impressed. Now, is this original Nash for 61? Huh? I don't understand what you mean. Uh, by this time, I thought they were just known as Metropolitans in 61s. Motors. Yeah. American Motors. Yeah, Nash. Now, Metropolitan, though, in 61, did not come in Nash, Hudson, and uh, Metropolitan. Didn't it just come out as Metropolitan? Yes. What well, it's a Nash. It's a Nash Metropolitan. It's okay. considered a Nash. Okay. Nash Metropolitan. Yeah. They were imported. Oh, from England? Yes. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Um, um, Austin. Austin, yes. Very good. Very good. And they use the 1275. Metro. Thank you. This is a 57. Nice. Always like that. Yeah. But this is so Hello. That's my waitress training. I can still talk though. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now I'm trying. I tried to get a straight answer. I couldn't quite get it. Mets were made in three flavors: Nash, Hudson, and Metropolitan. No, they were only made in one flavor. Oh, really? Mets were made in one flavor, and if they showed up at a dealer in the U.S. and the dealer wanted them to be a Hudson, they would put a Hudson badge on it, mm -hmm. and then it became a Hudson. Like the car in the end was came to town as a Nash Metropolitan, made by uh, Austin. Austin. Made yeah. By Austin. Now, when did they drop? 
the Nash and the... Well, in 57, mm -hmm. when uh, Nash and Hudson combined and became American Motors... That's 54. 50, okay, 54. Yeah. So this is a 57, and the tag on it says American Where Motors. The, uh, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, they merged in 54 okay. uh, because they were supposed to go in with Studebaker Packard, but that went south. Right. Uh, going with that. Uh, and that's why I always ask, because of course they badge engineered a lot of cars after that, uh, going through. But I know in uh, by 1960-something they dropped the uh, Nash and Hudson uh, monikers on them, and they just imported them as Metropolitans, sold through AMC. Well, it could be. This is a 61. I'd be curious what the tag on it says. Yeah, he's got Nash all over it, which is kind of strange, and it is American Motors. Yeah, but, I, think, I think they were always Nashes. I might be wrong. I don't think so, because the Nash name disappeared in 57. I have to look it up. Yeah. Just curious. Thank you. Sure. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com, getting to the bottom of the Metro question. I'll put it in the video. Uh, I can look it up. Can look it cool up. beans. I'll do a little bit of walk. Come back. Oh, I'll be right here. You can see all the mechanicals over there. It has the Nash uh, look to it. The monocle, but with all of the English. See the AMC tag over there? Yeah. No tagging on the engine. I almost bought one of these and put British. A pure British. I want to add the Crosley in. This video, this is the post-war Crosley with the Cobra engine. This is a 47cc. That's a 44 cubic inch overhead cam engine. You've seen a lot of coverage on northeast wheels of this car, of that engine. Again, this is Pam from northeastwheelsevents.com at the 2023 AACA Fall Me, commonly known as Hershey. For more cool events like this, make sure you check your car show calendars, northeastwheelsevents.com, southeastwheelsevents.com, ukwheelsevents.com, and while you're there, post and promote your events. I'll see you at the shows. Yeah.